Hi, I'm Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We are an ideas, consulting and training company that specialises in people management in complex, matrixed, virtual and global organisations. I'd like to share with you some of our ideas on working in these very complex organisations. I was running a matrix management workshop recently for a group of managers who'd recently been promoted to executive band in a large global organisation. We were talking about sources of power and influence at senior levels in the company. One of the delegates told me that the best piece of advice he received when he got to executive level was to recognise that we are all big dogs now and that traditional power and authority were not the ways to get things done. In many organisations, you can make pretty good progress in your career by using positional power and traditional authority to get things done. Very often as a middle manager, we have clear areas of responsibility and accountability and are able to deliver many of our key objectives and metrics by focusing on our own area of responsibility. Within that area, we are indeed a big dog and we can use that power to get things done quite effectively. However, when we get promoted to executive level in our organisation, we find there's much more need to work across the traditional organisational boundaries. We need to build alliances and use influence with people we don't have formal authority over. We have to learn to engage peers or superiors who are just as positionally powerful as we are or more. As my delegate said, we're all big dogs now. We have to find other skills and means for getting things done. In many organisations, individuals newly promoted to executive level cling too long to legacy, hierarchical and positional power as a means of getting things done. These people often don't survive the transition to senior levels in complex organisations. More talented senior leaders always used a broader range of skills and ways of getting things done and are able to adapt more easily to this new environment. Senior leaders have worked in this networked way for a long time and we help them to do that by assisting them to develop strong networks and relationships. Organisations invest in making sure these people are well informed, networked and empowered and these groups typically spend a lot of time together to socialise strategy at conferences and leadership retreats. In a matrix we are asking people much further down into the organisation to let go of positional and hierarchical power and get much more done through influence, networks and expertise. In effect, we are asking them to behave in the way senior leaders always have. We are asking them to become big dogs too. To do this, we need to make sure they have the skills, information, confidence and backing to operate in this way. Otherwise, we shouldn't be surprised if they fall back on traditional forms of power that may be much less effective in getting things done in the matrix. To find out more about how to enable leaders to succeed in complex matrixed organisations, please visit us at global-integration.com. Good luck.